so our policy, our booking photo policy has been changed where it's, it's much more restrictive. It really prohibits the release of booking photos except for a couple of situations. If there's a danger or threat to the community and that booking photo would warn the community of that danger. If uh, we are looking for a person who's wanted and that booking photo will help bring closure to that issue or the person uh, is at risk or a person is at risk and the booking photo will help resolve that situation. But short of that, we won't, won't be releasing them either to the media or on our department social media sites. Our, our whole criminal justice system is, is based on uh, innocent until proven guilty. And when a person gets arrested and a mugshot is, is released to the public, you know, picture or an image of people released, particularly nowadays where it can be on the internet for forever, uh, oftentimes, or sometimes anyway, people never are convicted of those crimes. So that could have lasting effects on an individual's you know, prospect for employment you know, and other opportunities. So in other words, if you see uh, black and brown men all the time who are, you see these mugshots either on television, news, movies, you name it, the media source, and the mind begins to associate that group with that type of activity. And there's a lot of science out there on this, on this topic. So the only concern from the victim side of it is how are they categorizing and who is deciding which ones should be released to the public and what is that criteria? And are they going to have a uniform criteria or does somebody just decide? 